Compared to other languages, Go has fewer keywords, making it more approachable. Let's explore some keywords that are either unique to Go or used in a unique way. What better place to start than the Go keyword itself? This keyword is the magic that makes handling concurrency and parallel execution so seamless in Go. The Go keyword is used to launch a Go routine, which is Go's way of handling lightweight threads of execution. Go routines are cheaper and more efficient than traditional threads, allowing Go programs to handle massive amounts of concurrent tasks efficiently. In this example, the save function prints a string five times with a short delay. By prefixing the call with the Go keyword, it runs in a separate Go routine. This allows the save function to run concurrently, demonstrating the power of Go's concurrency model. Next up is another keyword unique to Go that helps us communicate between Go routines, the Chan keyword. It allows us to define a channel, providing a concurrency safe way to send and receive values between Go routines. Channels are a powerful feature for synchronizing Go routines and passing data. Here we create a channel with make chan and launch a Go routine that sends ping to the channel. The main function waits to receive the message from the channel and prints it. Channels ensure that the main function will not proceed until it has received data from the Go routine. The final key in our chain to make concurrency a breeze is the select keyword. Although not absolutely unique to Go, it appears in SQL and Bash, in Go it's used with Go routines to handle multiple channel operations. The select statement allows a program to wait on multiple communication operations, proceeding with whichever is ready first. In this example, we have two channels, channel 1 and channel 2. Two separate Go routines send messages to these channels after different delays. The select statement listens on both channels and prints the message from whichever channel receives first. This way, the program can handle multiple channel operations efficiently. Another keyword that is very simple, yet makes our life easier, is defer. Also adopted in Swift, defer ensures that a function call is performed later in a program's execution, usually for purposes of cleanup. It is unique in its application in Go for deferring the execution of a function until the surrounding function returns. Here, print world is deferred, meaning it will be executed last, just before the main function exits. This ensures that any necessary cleanup or final actions are taken care of, no matter how the function exits. It is especially useful for closing files, releasing resources, or printing final messages. While not exclusive to Go, the range keyword is uniquely used in Go for iterating over elements of various data structures, slices, maps, channels, etc. In a way, that's very specific to Go's design. And in the Go 122 release, you can now use range to iterate over integers. In this example, we first use range to iterate over a slice, summing its elements. We then use range to iterate over a map, printing its keys and values. Finally, we use range to iterate over integers, printing numbers from 0 to 4. This makes the range keyword incredibly versatile. Another interesting keyword in Go is fall through. This keyword is used in switch statements to indicate that the control flow should fall through to the next case, without breaking. It simplifies certain switch case scenarios where multiple cases should execute the same block of code. In this switch statement, when the case 2 is matched, it prints 2 and then uses fall through to continue execution to the next case, printing 3. This feature is handy when multiple conditions should result in similar outcomes. And there you have it, some of the unique keywords that make Go such a powerful and user-friendly language. I hope you found this overview helpful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more programming content. Thanks for watching and happy coding with Go!